Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to take a screenshot of any specific screen, of any specific area or any specific element. To explain this, I have this website, this automation challenge OCR. So my example is, first, boat will launch this URL and then before clicking on this download button of this specific invoice, we need to capture this table screenshot, only this one, not complete, so that we can keep it as a backup or like we can keep it as a proof. So let me open UiPath Studio. Let me first use here open browser to open this URL. Let me copy this and here I want to paste that. Okay. So this URL I'm going to open using Chrome browser. Now inside this, we'll search for take a screenshot. Take this one. Now I want to take the screenshot of this table. So we have this option, click on indicate element inside the browser. Click on that. Once you click on this one, you need to just go to the uh, some cor this corner area so that we can just this, highlight this as a table. So here you can see, right? We are able to highlight this complete table and I want to take the screenshot of this table only. So I will just click on that, okay? Just to verify that we need to highlight, you can see it's highlighting correctly. If you want to modify the this selector, you can modify. So currently it looks good. It's going to uh, take this table, tag equal to table and this is the title and this is the browser. So it shows MS age. Okay. So here we need to go open browser and change it to MS this edge browser because I have this edge browser. Okay, now after taking the screenshot, we have to take the output, control K, and then we can say output screenshot, copy this, enter. So this variable is created here. Now we need to store that one. So how we can store, how we can save this one so that we can use this as a proof. We can send through email. So we have to take here save image save image is used to save this screenshot as an image okay so we'll take this output variable we'll paste here output screenshot which we are getting from here we'll enter here now we'll enter the file name because i want to save this screenshot as a as an image and i want to give the name to that one so we'll just click on that and click on this desktop and I can put here like output screenshot image and it should be like PNG. Okay. So this is the file name. And then after taking the screenshot, I can use a click activity to click on that download button. Okay. So I can click on this and then go to this browser and click on this button. Okay. We are good. So first close this one and click on run you can see here this url is launched and now it is going to take the screenshot and then it's clicking on this download icon to download this pdf that invoice okay now we have to go to this location to the desktop open this folder go to desktop output a screenshot this one output a screenshot image just double click on that and you can see it has just taken the screenshot of that specific table, a specific area. I hope this is useful. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn Blue Prism, please visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash Blue Prism RPA. And also if you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy, and you want to get certificate, you can search for my Blue Prism course th there. That is Blue Prism RPA complete course. I will also put the link in, in my video description. You can go through that there. Thank you.